Good morning, folks. Today we are going to learn how to do something in Adobe Animate called shape tweening. In order to do this, we need to set up an HD uh, project. So we'll make a new document with the HD preset. And then we're going to make an example of a rectangle shape and an oval shape to start. So I'm going to go to File New. And I'm going to ask for the HD preset. Now it's a little slow to load. Everything else looks fine. So I'll hit create. All right, now on this layer, we need to have a shape, either a rectangle or a square. I'm going to start with a rectangle. And I'm just going to click and drag to make a rectangle over here on the left. Now I'm going to go out to about 15 frames and I'm going to right click and choose insert blank keyframe. The keyboard shortcut for that is the F7 key. Now, at this blank keyframe, I'm going to create an oval. Now I'm going to switch up the colors. Maybe I'll choose green fill and orange stroke weight. And I'm just going to make this round shape over on the right hand side. Now, if you look at the timeline, we have the rectangle for the first 14 frames and then it blinks over to what we want. Now, we need to create something in the middle called a shape tween. So I'm moving my little scrubber bar here, and I'm going to right click in the middle and choose Create Shape Tween. And now it automatically does the transformation. Now, as long as you're using shapes, this tends to go pretty smoothly. If you had extra shapes on there, it will get wonky really fast. So um, we want to make sure we save. Okay, call this Shape demo video all right now we have our shape tween happening it's going from a rectangle to a circle if you press the F6 key and insert a keyframe you could have it do something different in the middle like maybe move up before it comes down so it's going to go up and then come back down but the main thing I want you to take away from this is that we're going to create a loop so I'm going to hold the shift key when I, I'm going to click once on frame one and then hold shift and I'm going to click on frame 15. Now that's basically selected the entire timeline. I'm going to right click and choose copy frames. And then the very first frame after this is frame 16. I'm going to right click and do paste frames. So what we have now is not looping, it's repeating. But I'm going to highlight frames 16 through 30 by shift clicking. So click on frame 16, shift click on frame 30. Now I'm gonna right click and tell them to reverse frames. And it's just gonna play them in reverse. So now at the beginning of our timeline, we have a rectangle. We go out to a circle and then we come back. You can even add a little bit of a pause if you want. I could press the F5 key a couple of times to add a little pause once we get to the circle. Okay. I could do the same here. Maybe I'll hit F6, clear that keyframe. I'm gonna actually, sorry, I'm gonna hit F5, one, two, three, four times at the end, so it'll pause a little bit between each one. So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go to export animated GIF file, all right? Now that is going to loop forever. It's only 38 frames, so I'll hit the save button. This is going in my downloads folder. You can send it to your desktop, your documents, whatever works, pictures. I'll, I'll send it to the desktop. Why not? And then it will be waiting for, for me on the desktop to then turn in on my digital sketchbook. Now, everything that you need is in this video, but I've also put each of the steps right here in your agenda. So. I'm going to insert image, upload from the computer, and I'm going to look on my desktop for my shape tween GIF. All right, so big it's blocking the instructions, but I'm going to shrink it down and put it right next to my other one. Maybe I'll give it a nice little colorful outline like the other one has. And then you'll be able to see both on your step-by-step -step instructions. All right, make sure you save this file to your Adobe Creative Cloud files folder and export your GIF and put it in your sketchbook and you're all set. Good luck, guys.